Sayugo makes it really easy to find data, generate figures in the arrangement you want, and download and share with lab mates and collaborators. The demo will be quite fast, so I encourage you to pause the video where necessary. We'll start by creating a time course survey of cortisol's effect on C2C12 and knockout clones. Notice how the table below expands the summary we're filling in now into the individual samples created from the experiment. Once we've confirmed our experiment design, we can map out and export and print our plate design. We set up a template so that our experiments automatically create a cell lysis step using RepiBuffer. Uploading lysate protein quantifications via spreadsheet or manually allows the software to automatically make calculations required for setting up our assays. If we're doing purifications, we just add one here and select which samples will undergo that process. Uh, but today we're focusing on the standard Western blot. So we'll create one and just make some more space. We'll create a 13 lane gel and rearrange our samples how we want them in the gel. You can tweak protein loading and gel electrophoresis details simply by clicking on the gel. Here we'll choose a Trisk Glycine STS running buffer with buffer details on the right. And the membrane transfer menu lets us specify details of our membrane transfer. Finally, we'll set up our targets by picking which antibodies we'll be using. We'll choose our control, GDF8 and RIP2, and corresponding anti-rabbit and anti-mouse secondaries. First, we'll cut the membrane at 100 kilodaltons, and we can also do that cut vertically if we wanted. Um, we'll just pick our antibodies and now assign them to the membrane. And we will strip and reprobe to detect RIP2 levels. Now we just need our secondaries. Notice that the software catches errors such as primary, secondary specificity mismatch. We can fix this by ensuring the secondary antibody is specific for the primary antibody specified. Now we just map the protein ladder to its lane. All the calculations for setting up the assay based on the protein quantifications uploaded earlier can be found in this table here. And the left hand side specifies the condition and the right hand side specifies how to load the protein according to our loading specifications. And then obviously we can take this and print it uh, and bring it right to the lab. And we can tweak all the details of a stain procedure on the fly, like our buffers and how long we wash for and at what temperature. Finally, we upload the data for each membrane in the images tab. We record the exposure time and then rotate and crop to prepare for the figure. And you can see on the right that the images are automatically quantified, which makes it so much easier to streamline into other computational modules, which we'll show in another video. Now we'll just upload and crop the remaining images. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And that looks good. And now that we're done, we've got a thumbnail which captures our entire assay. As you can see, all the conditions are laid out nicely and when we click on the assay, we see our images and we can easily add them to our figure by clicking and rearrange them just how we want. Thank you for watching.